Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. I have a very exciting video to share with you today. If you watched my previous video, I will be teaching preschool this fall, and so I have been changing my classroom into more a preschool classroom environment. So one of the things that I have been doing is creating new play centers in my classroom. And so today I'm going to share with you the first uh, center that I have completed. It is the baby nursery that is behind me. I'm gonna show you how I set that up. All the printables that I use in the center is by Play to Learn Preschool. She is a preschool teacher and also a teacher paid teacher creator. So I will link that below because I really, really was happy with those printables. I think it really came, made the um, center come together. And then the other thing I wanna share with you is the items that I'll be using in the center. And those are by Melissa and Doug. And if you are a provider or even just a mom, you know that Melissa and Doug toys are really high quality. And especially when you are a provider, you don't wanna waste your money on cheap toys that are just going to break. At least from my experience, it's better to pay a little extra upfront and have high quality toys that are gonna be able to be played with a lot of different children high traffic in our classrooms and we have to have good high quality toys and I have always had really good success with the Melissa and Doug line. Now this video is not sponsored, it'd be amazing if it was, but this is just one provider to another, just my opinion um, on high quality toys. So Melissa and Doug has a line of uh, baby accessories. So the first one is a bath time set. And so in my center, I have an area that the kids can bathe their baby dolls. And so this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to open this up and put it into the center. And then the other one I purchased was the meal time set. And I have a lot of baby bottles, but I did not have a lot of like little baby food jars. And I have made in the past little containers from like the dollar store and use those for our baby food jars, but these look really, really cool. And so I'm going to open those up and put them in the center. So I'm excited to show you guys what it all looks like. And they have some other sets that, they have a diaper bag set that I really, really like because you know how much kids just like to pack things into bags. And so I thought this would be a really fun uh, center that they can like pack a diaper bag uh, for their babies, like if they're gonna go take them for a walk or something. And so that is one of the future sets that I have budgeted for. So I'm going to open up these new toys, set up my center, and then I will show you guys what the completed center looks like. All right guys, I am so excited to share this center with you. I think it turned out super cute. So it is a pretty large center. It is taking up probably about half of this smaller classroom. Um, but since I'm going to have a smaller group next year. I really don't need a lot of centers so I can make um, some larger play areas for my group. And so this is the first one that I have completed. So it is called Baby Nursery. So I took a kitchen set. I have all of the feeding items to feed their dolls. Um, this came with the Melissa and Doug set. It is a pretty uh, sturdy um, cardboard. I might go ahead and take some clear packing tape and reinforce it just because with a lot of different kids, you know, not just your own, but daycare kids, they can be a little bit hard on stuff when you have that many kids playing with one item. In this one, there are some teething biscuits. And so I think they'll get a kick out of that. So there are two little cookies that come inside there. There is a, like a little like rice cereal little circle disc that you can put in here, but I actually just kept it in um, this basket. So in this basket is where I have all of the doll's food. And so this is something that I already had. It's just a little bowl of fruit. And this is the other one that I already had. Um, this is just like a learning resources macaroni that I put in there. Um, the rest of it is from that Melissa and Doug set. And so they have some cute little like squeezy pouches. This one here opens up and it looks like little Cheerios for a snack. Um, now this is what I was talking about with those little discs. And so I thought this was pretty cool. They have the different baby foods. So here's the blueberries, the spinach, and you can put it into the bowl. Um, now this is also a pretty um, sturdy cardboard. Um, I probably will go ahead and uh, laminate it just to make it just a little bit sturdier. Um, but there's blueberries on that front. I think this one's supposed to be bananas. 
and then uh, peas and maybe carrots or something. Um, but, and then they have these super cute little baby food jars that the lids do actually come off. So I know the kids will really enjoy that. Um, and then there's four of those. So super cute. So in that basket is just, you know, all the food that they can feed their babies in the fridge. So I have juice bottles on the top and milk bottles on the bottom. This came with the set. So it's just a little feeding schedule that I went ahead and just taped onto there, um, a little bib. And then down in this one, I put some bowls and plates to go and put the baby food into. And then there's some baby spoons here. The baby spoons that came with that set are super little. And so I didn't really like those. These are from maybe like learning resources. Uh, just like a dish set but I just pulled those ones out for the babies instead so those are in there here is a little baby daily report that the kids can fill out um, about the babies that they're watching and I believe that is everything that I have in kind of the feeding area the next area is the changing table area. And this is a baby set that I actually found on Facebook Marketplace about a month ago. And so it has a little washer and dryer. And then where the diaper is, I think was supposed to be like a little crib, but I made this into a changing table area. So I have our high chair over there. And then here's where they can change the babies. And that Melissa and Doug set did come with a couple of little cloth diapers that I put down there. And then it had um, a little wipe container that I will, just like the, like the little rice baby cereal box and biscuit box, I'm going to reinforce it with um, some tape. But these are, these little pretend wipes are really um, sturdy and so those aren't going to rip. And then this is, the kids are going to absolutely love this little diaper rash cream because the cap comes off here and you can squeeze it. And so if you've been a provider for a while, um, you know the toys that the kids are going to love. They are going to love playing with that. And then there's just a little uh, baby lotion uh, there to put a little lotion on their baby. And so that's what they can do here is change the baby. The Play to Learn Preschool, I loved how she had um, words to make a word wall. And so I printed some of the baby words and put them in a pocket chart here. And then down here it says play with your baby. And I put some of the infant toys in here so that they can play with their dolls. And then the next little setup is give baby a bath. Um, so there's a little towel and a little comb. This is so cute. It's a little bar of soap and it came with some little, uh, different kinds of soaps and stuff. This is another thing that the kids are going to love. You can push it to get the lotion out. Um, they're going to love that. A little washcloth and then this little bathing checklist came with the Melissa and Doug set, which I thought was really cool. And so that is where they can give their baby a bath. And then the last thing I have is let baby take a nap. So this is where they can uh, nap their babies. And in here, these are just uh, little bins actually just from Ikea that we used to use in my daughter's closet. Um, they've actually just been sitting in the garage. So I thought, oh, those would be great for little cribs. And I just placed them on this table and just use some receiving blankets um, to put the babies in. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching this video of our baby nursery. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.